Pantera made their triumphant return to the stage on December 2nd at Mexico's Hell and Heaven Metal Fest. These highly anticipated shows are a celebration of the legacy of Pantera and the Abbott Brothers, featuring drummer Charlie Benante and Zach Wilde on guitar. Now, if you know anything about Pantera or the Abbott Brothers, you know just how important the band Kiss was to them specifically. Both Abbott Brothers were buried in Kiss-themed caskets. It was their favorite band of all time, without question. And now Paul Stanley is weighing in on the celebration shows. He had very nice things to say. Surely that would mean the world to the Abbott brothers. Before we get to that, make sure you hit that subscribe button to each and every one of you who are returning viewers. We are so grateful for your support and a lot of you haven't subscribed yet. So if you could just take a quick second to hit that button, it would be the best way to support this channel. The Abbott brothers were very open about their love for the band Kiss. Dimebag Daryl was laid to rest in a custom Kiss casket following his death in 2004. And following his passing back in 2018, Vinnie Paul was also buried in a custom Kiss casket. So how fitting that none other than Kiss vocalist Paul Stanley to weigh in on these celebration shows, the first show again taking place on December 2nd at Heaven and Hellfest. Paul Stanley shared the following heartfelt message about this show. He said, Thrilled to see Phil, Rex, and Pantera back and killing it. Zach and Charlie clearly did their homework with love and commitment. Pantera did shows with us years ago and were ferocious and explosive. Others tried, but nobody could be them. Diamond Vinny would be proud. It was truly impressive to see Charlie Benante and Zach Wilde channeling the Abbott Brothers up on stage. That fan film footage sounded amazing. They really sounded true to form. And Charlie Benante weighed in on what it was like to perform at that first show at Heaven and Hell Metal Fest on December 2nd. He said, if I say I wasn't nervous, I'd be lying. The excitement, the fear, the emotions, the love and the work that went into doing this all played a part of what was in my head. When I got up there, it had all seemed to disappear, except for the 50 degree weather. I looked at Phil, Rex, and Zach and felt the connection. Bam. New level started and we were off. I kept looking down at my set list and was getting hyped for the next song. Thank you Sterling Winfield for bringing me an old Dimebag Daryl wristband and a pair of Vinnie Paul old gloves. I wore the wristband and brought the gloves up with me. I had some moments up there like I felt I wasn't there. I went some other place. I think I was metal meditating. Don't laugh, I'm serious. Thanks to the Pantera family. Thank you to the crew and the amazing fans who have always been so positive about this. Thank you to Carla for listening to me play Pantera songs day in and out. I look forward to seeing you all and having a great time playing these songs and reliving the feeling of what a great band they are. Again, thank you and congratulations to everyone who has worked so hard to make this happen. Congratulations to everyone associated with Pantera. This is really going well. It looks amazing, outstanding. So excited to see these shows moving forward. And thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out the recommended video on your screen.